What's going on guys? So today what I have for you is I'm going to be talking about what it's like first day of ownership of the Oldsmobile Bravada. Um, I will go ahead and talk about the differences between a normal S10 and the Bravada itself and then also the differences between driving a luxury sedan going to a luxury SUV well kind of luxury it's not the greatest now but so that's what we're going to be talking about today um, I guess also I want to talk about the things that I'm going to be fixing on it and then also what needs uh, or what has already been fixed and then the plans for it long term so thanks for watching guys I appreciate you checking into the channel if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button Hit the like button if you like this video, and uh, here we go. There she is, boys. Man, she's looking nice after I got her clean, too. I think it's going to be awesome. Man, oh man. All right. I'm excited. First day of ownership. Got insurance on it. Let's see what we got here so um first thing first that kind of sucks is the door bushings are like shot on this thing so uh i have to roll the window down like this oh gotta shut that off copyright bullshit um, but then I have to shut the door like this because the bushings are super bad and it won't shut right if I don't pull my hand on the outside like that. All right, fold this thing down. One circuit. Here we go. A little rough start there, but good oil pressure. Got a full tank of gas. Huh, ABS is on right now. That's kind of weird. All right, here she is running. I don't know. I think. I mean, I was saying the balancer was really bad, but it's not terrible. You probably can't hear a thing because of the wind. Sorry about the wind, it's coming from the fan. It definitely needs a tensioner, and it definitely needs a belt. But the belt's not terrible, it's just cold. Now, for the misfire that it has, I'm kind of wondering if it's like the distributor that's up here. Or if it's, you know, maybe the, the wires or the, the plug. The plug. That looks weird because it, you know, that almost looks factory. It's a little weird. But it looks new, it looks fairly new, or at least, you know, cleaner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop this thing off, and I haven't even looked at the, really haven't looked at anything. Needs a bowl. Got a new battery. Overall, I'm really excited about it though. I would have to say that it's a fairly nice looking vehicle for $600. I mean, the only car that I've ever had nicer than this in paint was probably my uh, Buick Park Avenue. 
um, and even at that, it was still like it had its issues. So I don't know. I, it seems like I get high mileage vehicles for a lot cheaper than normal. And there's a lot of things that I want to do, like I want to get the the paint fixed on the front bumper, um, you know, get that cap fixed, and you know the door, you know the interior pieces, the belt, you know whatever else it needs, even oil pump or water pump or you know anything. This motor is super easy to work on, and if you you know have any kind of knowledge, and I I. I go into it, you know, knowing what I know, but still, I'm not that knowledgeable, and I can still easily for say that I could get that engine back together in perfect running order. So, um, does have the tow hooks on the front? That's really nice. So if I ever get stuck, um, my ultimate goal in the long run would have to be that I want to get some bigger tires on it, and then do something with the wheels. I like these wheels, and I almost want to like paint them or powder coat them, but you know that's just kind of a long-term goal but as you can see in here I still haven't cleaned it out from the last owner um, but overall it is a very very decent interior I'm I'm very happy with it um, leather looks very nice yeah it's a little wrinkled in some places but it just needs you know a little love and tender care and she will be right back into really good condition um floors look decent back here i can you know clean that and then shampoo all of that and it'll look amazing um inside of the doors i need to get cleaned um back here i need to get this thing fixed it doesn't stay up there um, but that's your hideaway to slide it across, you know, over there to hide your groceries when you, you know, go and do something somewhere else. Um, I did put a wheel bearing, wheel bearing, in this vehicle. Um, that's the old wheel bearing. Uh, it, it was gnarly. Like, I, I, I would have to have two hands just to turn that. Um, it was bad. That's probably why the people that had it before me got rid of it. Um, but yeah, after I that I got it for six hundred bucks, got that for seventy five bucks in the car, less than seven hundred bucks. Probably have to put a belt on it. So. Well, you know overall this is a very nice car for you know under under 800 bucks easily and I can turn around and sell this thing for at least at least a thousand so it's already a winning game but this car you know if I fix every little detail and make it look really nice it's worth 1500 to me if not more like Especially if it's running good and it's got a nice leather interior heated seats and by the way if you if I didn't show you It's got a sunroof Yeah, that's like one of the biggest perks about this car is it's got a, a sunroof I don't want to open it because it's a little chilly, but uh, yeah a bird crap right there. That's what pisses me off and I'm gonna keep this car clean too, but no, she's got a sunroof on her, and I'm super excited. It works, the vent works. It's just it needs a little bit of an adjustment, but it it works. Like yesterday, I had it open, you know, so that was awesome. Um, one thing that did just come on last night actually was the service engine soon. I'm not quite exactly sure what's going on with that um but i know i can figure it out easily i'm not too you know worried about it it's probably just a a, a small little misfire or you know some plugs wires distributor or anything like that so i'm not too terribly concerned with it like i said it's running good right now um 
so I'm very very happy um, like I said this is first ownership and I still haven't even cleaned it yet and I've cleaned a little bit like where I'm, my hands are gonna be I cleaned that and I cleaned up in there but other than that in the outside I I really need to put a, a deep deep clean on this thing and I, I think it's gonna be a very very nice vehicle but uh all right well it is time to hit the road so um i will go ahead and just sum up kind of the the reasons why i bought this vehicle so it was on craigslist for a thousand dollars um i have kind of wanted an s10 blazer like this but um and it's nice because the heated seats are warming me up so i've always kind of wanted an s10 blazer like this I have never really got the chance to own them because a lot of people ask a lot of money for them because this mid mid-sized uh, v6 trucks like this are, are very very hard to come by there she is there's the old girl so recently I just put brand new tires on the front and I'm a little upset about it but I'm not gonna let that car go like for some reason she's just gonna be around and I want to make her look nice get new trim on it get her painted and fix the motor problems and that's gonna be a nice nice cruiser she's got a really nice interior on her still so I'm still very excited to have that so I mean overall it it drives pretty good it has a little bit of a hum I'm going to see if you can hear it or not. We're going to find out once I actually start speeding up here. But uh, that's really the only problem that I have now other than the check engine light. Um, obviously, I, I know I need to fix that. But uh, we'll see if you can hear it. Sometimes it actually gets noticeable enough that you're like, man, that's that's really bad. And it's kind of after I've been driving it for a while. So... I guess, you know, what do you do with cars like this? You just kind of get them, you fix the simple shit that you know how to fix, and then you just drive them. And I think this will be a great driver.